in today's video, we're gonna be talking all about the Bright Line train, America's newest intercity high speed train. This is gonna be awesome video. We're gonna be talking all about the Bright Line, how much it costs, where it goes, the future of the Bright Lines, and how it's gonna help Floridians get from Central Florida to South Florida, and hopefully in the future to West Florida and the West Coast of Florida. So let's not waste any more time and let's get into this video about the Bright Line right now. So this building is not just meant for the Bright Line. It's actually called the Miami Central. And this whole little area here, this whole little district, the Miami Central, it consists of retail spaces, luxury residential, um, two res luxury residential buildings. Um, there's a lot more than just the Bright Line. So we're gonna go check it out. Come on with me. It's gonna be the first time that I get into this building. Um, let's go check out the outside first. Here's the outside. It's amazing how they have these little vans, Brightline Teslas, look at these little cars right here. Like the way this thing is set up, it's, it's crazy. To be a train, for this to be a train is amazing. But hey, they're doing it big, they're doing it amazing. Let's check this place out together, guys. Let's see, check out the... In so as soon as you walk in, you got Jordan Juice. Super chill, super comfortable. So fresh in here. It is so fresh, it's so beautiful. I mean, you got all the screens right here that we're gonna go to in a minute. I just wanna show you a little bit more around. You got, you got back check-in, you got guest service. Like, it is, it's like an airport. <laughs> it's like an airport for trains. I've never seen nothing like this for a train station. All right, just so you know, I have a little bit more information about the Bright Line. Pretty much right now, right now, it goes from Miami to Fort Lauderdale to West Palm Beach, and they're about to make it to Orlando. Hopefully, this project finishes next year, and it goes from Miami to Orlando. It'll take about three hours. From Miami to Fort Lauderdale, it takes uh, 30 minutes, and then to West Palm, it takes another 30 minutes. Or you do Miami, uh, West Palm, pretty much one hour. So let's come into this, let's come to these machines right here. Let's see, touch screen. So it's asking us one way around trip, how many passengers. So you see Miami, look at that. We could go for Lauderdale or the West Palm. And actually a really good, some really good information I just received is that they're actually making the station in Aventura. So pretty much the North Miami part of Miami, the North Miami area, there's making a station there. So I'm guessing you're gonna be able to go Downtown Miami, Aventura, Fort Lauderdale, West Palm, and I'm sure they have something else in mind. But right now, I'm gonna actually show you some shots because I was there today for the Aventura station. I'm gonna show it to you. It's gonna be right across the street from the Aventura Mall, so that's gonna be awesome. Yeah. So again, Miami to Fort Lauderdale, West Palm. You can choose the date. We're gonna go today. And then return, we'll return today. Definitely don't wanna sleep over there in West Palm. Two. Let's go to Fort Lauderdale. Let's see, let's see how much this thing costs. So check that out. So there's two options. You have Smart and you have Premium. From what I understand, Premium is like, you know, first class experience, we have amenities, you have snacks, you have, uh, it's it's like, it's like being first class in Irving, right? So, and look at the difference in price. There's not too much difference, so definitely it's gonna be worth it to go to Premium. So check out the times. 448, 548, so pretty much every one hour it leaves. So let's do that. Let's get that done. When do I want to return? The cost, oh look at it, it depends on demand. And I guess it depends on demand because right here the price just went up to 32 to return at 525. Most of the time it's 27 bucks. I think when I looked online, I think it was even cheaper and it was the same price. I think it was a few dollars cheaper on the on the on the not premium on the smart. Anyway, so passenger, you put all your name over here. So to go and come back from Fort Lauderdale, fifty four bucks. On an Uber, it'll probably be like 60, 70 bucks just to go, just to go. 
So if that is where you work or you're close to that, 54 bucks to go, we'll have to see. And I'm sure they're probably gonna make some memberships, some plans, some monthly payments. So you don't have to like pay all this all, you know, every time you use it, I'm sure they're gonna have some type of payments like that. I'm actually gonna speak to the manager in a minute. Actually, he's here right now, so I'm gonna ask him some more information. All right, so I just spoke to the manager, Matthew, who's really nice, man in a suit. Like, it's amazing that you go to the you know, train station and I'm not used to this, right? So pretty much Matthew was telling me that sometimes um, there's promotions and you get a ticket for as low as uh, $10 a ride. Or you can get like a package, or you can do monthly passes, or you can, you can do all those things for sure. So up here, we have a food court. Let's check this out. So you have a food court right here. Check this out. This is amazing. So this is the ticket. Only if you go, if you have a ticket, you can pass through there. If not, you cannot. Let's check this out first. This is awesome. Like I can't believe how beautiful this is. I could definitely see this in the future. Um, you know, like right now it's kind of empty. It's just pretty much just just open. I think like a year or two ago, but it's just, you know, it's just now getting popular. Not too much people using it. As you can see, it's pretty dead. Like there's no one here right now. Maybe the time, it's 5 p.m. right now. But still, so you got some burgers. Like this is awesome. So like I was mentioning earlier, Aventura Station is getting built. And Matthew just mentioned to me that, um, if they're actually gonna make another station in Boca. So again, you're gonna have downtown Miami, Aventura, uh, Fort Lauderdale, Boca, West Palm Beach, Orlando. That's, that's awesome. I mean, you don't need more than that. That's amazing. So again, that's gonna change South Floridians, Central Floridians. And I didn't ask them, but I've heard that of course the idea will be for, the, for them to make the, uh, the train or the station, you know, in Naples or Tampa, one of these uh, West Coast uh, areas here in Florida. So that would be amazing as well. Let's see, let's see where we're going. I don't even know. So this, oh, okay, this goes to the downstairs in this building. Oh, and another thing, as you can see right here, something that I did not mention, so important, I don't know if you can see it. I'm sure you can. Over there you have the Metro Mover. So another very cool thing and very important is that the Bright Line connects to the Metro Mover. It connects to the, uh, the Metro Mover, the, what are the other trains called? The Metro Mover, the Bright Line, the Metro Mover, what are the other trains called? <sighs> can't remember, but you have the Metro Mover that goes around Brico and downtown, the Tri-Rail, the Tri-Rail, um, then you have the trolleys, Miami trolleys, so it's pretty much all going to be connected, right? So wherever you're moving, you can use public uh, transportation, and this is not public, of course, it's actually a private-owned company, but still, you can use this, the Bright Line, to move to different areas around Florida, which that's or South Florida, which that's gonna change everything. It's gonna be a game changer, because as you all know, transportation down here in Miami is pretty bad. But in the recent years, it's been getting very, very good, especially in the downtown, the Brickle, the Edgewater areas, Miami Beach areas. So now it's gonna get even better. So you can uh, have a little sandwich before you go, or a little cookie before you take the train. How awesome, man. So you got a smart lounge, premium lounge. All right, cool, so we're ready to go. We got our tickets, go and return. Let's see how this baby works. This is my, this is my skin. Check that, check that out. Look at this, you even got a back scanner, like an airport, this is an airport right here. I don't have any bags with me, so we're good. Check that out. There's a delay. So 
We got the lounge. They are beautiful, these Lounge. We got a little bar right here. It's just like an airport. This has got to be the most modern train station ever. Okay, got it. This bar. Right. Let's see what else they have out here. I did it, Matthew. Oh, you bought the ticket? No, I, I bought it. Yeah, I bought it. I'm like, I can't do a video okay. without going inside the train, right? All right, let's see what else we got. We got a little shop right here. Little shop. What else is over here? This is the premium lounge. All right. I, again, I do not feel like I'm in a, I'm in a trace, train station. This is crazy. Let's, let's see the premium lounge. So let's scan this baby. Oof. Check this out. This is a little more chill. It gives you a little some snacks. You have workstation if you need to get on your computer. Our screen TV in case you know you want to watch TV like right now the train is delayed charging stations so this right here is the premium lounge I mean what else can you ask for amazing got some beverages I think I saw beer there's no way coffee and I think I see beer. This is awesome. Not that I want a beer right now. Or should I? Check this out. No way. Gotta do this for you guys. Gotta do this for you guys. It says tap to start. Pour your drink. You choose La Rubia. Three options and there's three. All right, let's do this. Hold on. Let's see La Rubia. Oof. This is not bad for you guys. Cheers. But well, you don't have to have beer. You can have some water with lemon, mint, tea, coffee, and drinks. Let's go check out the snacks again. Now that I have a beer, gotta do some snacks too, right? Some cheeses, some... Look at this. Tell me. <laughs> you didn't even get this in the first class airplane in the airlines all right so there's a little delay so let's wait for the train and let's go check it out inside let's see what it right feels like all right so a little bit more information about the bright line uh each train set could carry up to 248 people um it's going to reach 125 miles per hour the trains that go from miami to west palm the ones right now that are currently going on i believe they're at 70 miles per hour uh, there's Wi-Fi in the train. I'm sure you have, you know, super modern charging stations, all of that. Uh, can't wait to check that out. What else? Again, you have connection, you know, very well located in downtown. So you can get here from Brickell, from Medjewater, from downtown, from Wynwood, from Miami Beach. Uh, so it's very convenient, very well located. Um, you can go all the way to Orlando. So you can even probably work in Orlando, right? Three, I think it's going to take me about three hours. So. Maybe you can work in Orlando or go, you know, more often and people from Orlando come more often. Uh, I believe the last station is actually going to be in Disney World, in Disney World. So that's going to be a game changer. So there's nothing but good things about this bright line and I'm so excited. I can't wait. Really comfortable seats for sure. Got a little, this little button right here. I guess, I don't know. It just went forward a little bit. I guess, yeah, these don't recline. <laughs> I'm thinking it reclines like a airplane. But it's still really comfortable. You put this thing down, definitely comfortable, definitely. I could do a few hours here. I think it's way better than an airplane for sure. So let's see how much it moves and let's see if you feel the speed. This 
This is new in Miami, so I'm super excited for this. We're moving, we're moving. So here in the Bright Line, you get complimentary snacks and I guess a few beverages. So you get something that go, that's going around kind of, like a, kind of like a waiter in your train. So it's amazing. Check this out. All right, so right now we're in the Fort Lauderdale station. It's pretty much right in the heart of Fort Lauderdale. Very close to Las Olas and downtown Fort Lauderdale. All right, so I just found out something incredible that I did not know about. So pretty much, as you can see, the Teslas, then the other mini cars. Can't remember how you call them. Yeah, back there you have a shuttle. So these are all, not all, but most of them are complimentary services to you. So the little golf cart here that you've seen in downtown, it just pulled out right here. Pretty much, you have to download the app. This is app right here. You'll, you, whenever you get there, you'll ask. It's called Rice Circuit app. So pretty much, you download the app, and it gives you a map of where you can go complimentary with the little cart. So here, where we are in downtown Fort Lauderdale, or at least close to that, you can go all the way to the beach with these little carts. Complimentary. So it'll take you up. It can pick you up and bring you over here, that's insane. And over there, we also have the shuttle, the airport shuttle. So if you're flying uh, from Fort Lauderdale Airport, let's just say, let's just say you're in Miami, you can just go to downtown Miami, you take the train over here, and the shuttle takes you to the airport. I mean, it doesn't get better than that. So there you have it, guys. Now, if you're looking to come down to Miami and buy a property here, get settled, investment property, or you are relocating to Miami, feel free to contact me at any time. I'll be more than happy to help you and get you settled down here. We can set up a Zoom call and talk about the best options for you. Thank you so much for watching the video. Give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe, and I hope you go watch my next video. Thank you so much for watching, and I see you guys later. Thank you.